let me ask you something. I, I haven't talked to you since uh, Pat Cooper passed. I felt like that guy was going to live to 100, man. The guy had crazy energy. I remember he came on our show to retire. He did it. A, he did an appearance, and he just crushed. And, and he said, this is it. It's over. I'm done. And I'm like, how are you saying you're done? Like, wow. he the best appearances, and then – and then he would be like, I can't hear anymore, damn it. And he would be yeah. so annoyed he couldn't hear. And and he never did, I don't think, radio again after that appearance on the Opie and Anthony show. But I would see him on the Upper West Side walking around. And he would, he would like, outwalk anyone half his age. He was already in his 80s at this point. And he, I would... His father was a bricklayer. And Pat was a bricklayer. And he was from that Italian stock where he stood up straight as an as an arrow, and I I agree. I thought he's going to live to be 120. Um, it's funny because the other day I I went and found five of the Jackie's joke hunts that he was on. So I have them all in one file. I'll send them to you. Yeah. Because he, he, he got to work. Not to be rude, but he was deaf in one ear and he couldn't hear out of the other. Oh uh, yeah. So he would talk and talk, and he loved us, and he loved me, and he used to take me out to dinner. And it was funny because I had this beautiful girlfriend and I'd go out, me and her and her mother and Pat, and we go out and double date, but Pat couldn't hear. So he'd go on and on and on. And then if he took a breath and somebody said something, he'd say, what? And he'd take <laughs> off again, but he would never let me pay. So basically I had to go eat a steak dinner that he paid for. But I had to sit through the show, which was more interesting than anything in the world. Meanwhile, I break up with the girl, and a year later, Pat went out with her mother, and he was too old for her mother. <laughs> and then he dated my ex girlfriend and married her. Right. And they were married, and you know she's his widow. But yeah. I, I was very shocked because I really did think he was going to live to be 120 because he was. You know, aside from the fact he couldn't hear, which which sucks, but you know, I don't know about you. I got every day something else goes wrong with me, so I totally get that. You know. Oh, tell me about it. I um, a lot of people always ask me who are some of the funniest people on the Opie and Anthony show, and I I leave Pat Cooper out of the the conversation. I forget, but I think it's because he didn't do the show a lot. He did it after he, you know, Howard wouldn't have him back. Which look, we don't have to get into that again. There's, when you do a radio show and you got people like. No, I'm going to do this. You don't have to say anything. So when you have a radio show and every day is a pressure cooker and you're trying to get content out of there and you're trying to get people to laugh in their cars and you got Pat Cooper, Gilbert Gottfried, and Artie Lang to Ed, sorry, you're on that list. Jackie the joke, man, that's right. And and you like you you like don't use them anymore. And they're not allowed on the show anymore. And they're not even referenced anymore. Like you guys never existed. That is crazy. That's I, lunacy. I and know, you don't have to I comment know. at all, but I'm sticking up for you, Artie Lang, Gilbert Godfrey, <clears throat> and uh, Pat Cooper, and probably a few others in there. And I so know, all I, these guys would come knocking on our door. I'm like, come in. Are you kidding? Of course. And then Cooper would come on an hour straight, like you're saying, like a machine gun. Me and Anthony just sat back. We're getting the credit for another amazing show as Cooper's just destroying the room. Oh, just a delight, you know. And then <clears throat> even when he got mad and went crazy and people were worried he was going to jump over the console and strangle Howard, he would look over at me and Fred and he would wink. Yeah, yeah. Like, like aren't we having a riot? And me and Fred would be in a good mood. When we knew Cooper was coming in, it was like Christmas. Oh, Honestly, yeah. God, it was so much fun. You had to you know. put on your Kevlar because he went after everybody. But you did just bring back a great memory. He would destroy it in such a way like you're like, I think this guy hates me. And then all of a sudden you go like this. He'd give you that little wink and you're like, you'd breathe almost a sigh of relief. Like, oh, okay. okay. You know, it, it was 150% show business. Yeah. It was, it was farting around and, and just boom, boom. Oh, just what a mind. Just crazy. But he was. He certainly was nuts. He really was nuts. Of course, uh, but know. that's what makes great comedy, right? 